Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, this is Jake. Um, I had to get out of the house today. Um, I was looking forward to shooting this video and uh, had to get out of the house today because A, it's, it's very nice outside. Uh, sorry, that was chewy. Uh, two, sit. Two, uh, one of my kids is watching a YouTube video that pretty much makes me want to cry. Um, for the kids that are making YouTube videos where all you do is basically scream and stuff like that into the camera, uh, save your money that you're making because uh, I'm not sure what that's equipping you to do for the rest of your life. Anyway, uh, enough of that rant. So Chewy and I, we train for about 20 to 30 minutes a day, uh, every day, and then that's focus, what I call focus training. And then the other training we do is uh, what I call um, on the spot training, which is essentially everything is a training opportunity. Ooh. So I'm not a dog trainer. Um, I've been taught by a dog trainer. I'll put his information down below. Canine Control. Michael is a very sharp dude. Knows in that mind of an animal, and has changed Chewy and I's life. So um, uh, thoroughly enjoy this dog. So I'm going to take him for a walk, and then what I thought we might do today is maybe talk a little bit about the channel. And then uh, maybe check out uh, some of my other passions in life um, and uh, cars. <laughs> so I think it's a good time to, to talk about cars. I think we all need distractions right now. But uh, anyway, so we'll go for a walk and uh, see what we can find. But uh, Chewie's pumped up, you can tell. And he's just sitting here. That's what he's supposed to do. When I'm standing here doing something, he sits. All right, so we're gonna go for our walk. And we'll be back to talk about some cars. All right, welcome back. Uh, we just took our walk, so I'm not going to be doing any uh, face shots right now because it's Texas, uh, and it's like a 1,000 degrees. There's Chewy. Uh, he's tethered to my belt, which I like to kind of do, you know, when I'm out and about here walking around. Um, great thing is he's a 90-pound dog, and at any time he could run as fast as he could and probably pull me down the street. <laughs> he's a strong dude, but he's a good dog. Hey, Chewy, he's a good boy. All right, so cars. Okay, so first of all, my garage is messy. Okay, I uh, got a lot of stuff that we're trying to kind of liquidate here. But um, so, yeah, so uh, this is uh, my wife's car. Um, so I'm going to start with her car so that I don't, I don't feel so bad about the, the problem that I have. Um, and I'll talk about the problem I have here in a minute. This is a QX50. Uh, it's a 2020 QX50. Very, very nice car. Uh, we had two QX80s before it, um, and they were both great cars. This is an equally great car uh, with even more technology in it. Let me open the door, hopefully. Yeah, you might not be able to see inside here, but uh, suede throughout, leather throughout. The car drives itself. It's pretty amazing. No, 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 Chewy. Chewy thinks we're going for a ride. Uh, it's pretty funny. Okay. Okay, this is my uh, my stepson's car that I bought for him. It's a 2011 Acura TL. Uh, he has a different taste than I do, but we won't be spending a lot of time on it. I, I don't want to take away from his content that he may create one day. Uh, but uh, that's his car. He, he uh, He's fallen in love with it. I'm not sure he loved it at the beginning, but he loves it now. Okay, um, this is my daily driver. It's a 2020 Infiniti QX, oh, I'm sorry, Q60 uh, Red Sport. Um, so it's a twin turbo V6. Uh, fits about, you know, 350, 370 horsepower to the ground stock. It's a very, very nice car. Just got it. Um, if you didn't think that I had a car problem before, um, let me prove it to you. I bought t both these cars on the same day. Okay, sit, Chewy. You're twirling me around here, buddy. Okay, next. Um, I have a soft place in my heart for uh, cars that either were neglected and are... Um, niche type cars or problematic cars that have great engineering but just poor execution. Um, this car is a lot of fun to drive. It's a 2005 RX-8 Shinka uh, manual transmission. You know, it's a rotary motor, which are they don't do rotary motors anymore <clears throat> in these cars because they're so unreliable. This car is pretty unreliable when I got it. I've been doing some work on it. This is just one of my project cars that I do. But I love it. It's a stick shift. It revs up to I think, what is it? Redline it. Red lines at 8,500 RPM. Um, fantastic car. Um, it was a total mess when I got it. Um, it looked like somebody had been living in it and never cleaned it. Uh, it's disgusting. Nope, sit. Neighbor had to do a little correction. Oh, it's a dog. Yeah, this is an RX-8, 2005 RX-8. Um, 
I have a lot of fun with this car. Very frustrating, though. I cannot fix the AC, and in Texas, you have to have AC. Or, uh, well, at least when you're 43 years old and slightly overweight, well, very overweight, um, you, <laughs> you, need a, you need an air conditioner. Okay, so that's, uh, that's two cars. And so you can already kind of tell, like, oh my god, Jake, how many cars do you actually have? Oh, this is interesting. There's something leaking out of my garage. I can't wait for this reveal here. You're going to get this uh, live streamed real time here. What in the world is that? I don't know yet. Okay. Um, this is something that I saved for and worked for my entire life since I was a kid. Uh, I've wanted one of these cars since I saw the movie when I was, gosh, what was I, 12, maybe? I don't even think I was that old. I think it was, what, 1985, right? Back to the Future. I should know that, but I don't. I think I was eight. I want to say I was eight or nine, and I saw this movie, and I fell in love with this car. So this is a 1981 uh, DeLorean DMC-12. Uh, it's... It is a labor of love. This car um, does not run on a bit, you know, regular basis without lots of TLC. Um, so I spent about a year restoring it, but I don't think it ever really finishes restoring. You just kind of keep restoring it because <laughs> it keeps breaking. But uh, it is a fun car to drive. I love it. it. It's it's not fun to drive, but it's fun to see people's reactions when you drive this car down the street and when you go for gas and people stop and want to take their picture in it, which I fully love people doing. I let them sit in the car. I let them take pictures. It's been in charities uh, where people, you know, come in and sit down and, and take pictures in it and just relive their youth or ask what the heck is it if they've never seen the movies. Um, but the most iconic thing, and I don't think I would be doing it justice if I didn't do this, um, this is what made this car very iconic, which, uh, you know, not, not just the stainless steel body here, um, but the uh, gold wing doors um, are what made this car famous. Well, plus the movie that made a big difference too. Uh, but anyway, this is my favorite car that, that I have. Um, there's two other cars that I have that are not on site. Um, so I, I can't show those in this, this video. So there'll be a to be continued on that. One of them is uh, at a shop that I co-rent. And then another one is uh, in a warehouse that I, or a storage unit that I keep um, and I'll show you those at, at a later time, but anyway, um, this is kind of my, my armada. Like I said, I, I love cars. I've had a lot of different cars, um, but these by far are, are kind of my favorite ones. Um, okay, well that's it. I'm not going to close off with my face because I'm sweating. It's, it's hot out here. Um, Chewy, Chewy, sit. He's a good boy. I will have a video of Chewy at some point. Uh, he's a great dog. Love this dog, but um, he's my buddy. <laughs> yeah, he likes being. He likes on camera too. Look, see. Uh, but anyway, we'll close this one out. Um, hope you're enjoying the video so far. I try to do some things fun, maybe some things educational, but um, you know, I uh, hopefully make some good content for you guys. And if it's educational, great. If it's it's entertainment, great. Uh, just trying to do something positive, you know. <laughs> anyway. Have a good one. Talk to y'all later.